Hello friends. In this video of Hadoop installation, I will be showing today how to handle an user in Ubuntu. Well, in my system right now, if you come to the top left, sorry, right corner, at the, there is a gear icon, you will find the name of the currently user which is logged in. At the same time, you will see over here another user present. So what I will be doing first is that I will remove this user and then I will be creating a new user and, and perform a series of action. So let's go and remove the existing user. So for that, you need to come to the option called System Settings. It will bring us to a new dialog box and over here you have an option called User Account. Double click on this. Here it shows the two user names. Select the second user. You have to first unlock the user and for that reason you need to provide the password for the existing user. You come down, you choose the user which you want to unlock it and you provide the password over here. The password is Hadoop and then you go for authenticate and it's been authenticated right over here and then you go for the deleting the user from here. As you click the option, it gives you a message. Do you want to keep any file? I don't want that. So I go for the delete file option and as I do that, the user gets deleted. So I close the dialog box. If you come down again to the right corner, Icon, you don't find the user over here. This is the user which is currently logged in. So that's how you can delete an existing user. So let's start from the scratch and this particular file, I will be using it and all the relevant commands are right over here. The first thing what I will be doing is that I want to create a group, okay? Because every user will be allocated to a group. So if you want to see the existing group, the list all the group with the username, you can fire this particular command. So I'm copying the command right from here. Press from the keyboard Control Alt and T that brings you with the terminal window. And before I proceed, let me tell you what the objective of this command from. So if you see the left statement or the left term, that is the username which is currently logged in, okay? And uh, you are in the root directory of the particular user over here. So I hit, I right click and press back the command, and as I hit the enter, it will show the list of users. Sorry, the list of group as well as the users. That is present in the system. The point which is very important to be noted over here is there is something called sudo. So this particular class is very important. So the current user has a sudo privilege. In fact, the user which I will be creating, I need to assign the sudo privilege. Then only I will be able to perform the system related operation, which only the sudo class will provide you that. Now as I scroll down over here, I have installed MySQL in my system. So there is a user called MySQL. And I have also created one group called Hadoop underscore group. This group I have created and this is a group ID. So what I will be doing is that I will first remove this particular group and then I will be creating the group and then I will assign a user inside that group. So to remove the group, here is a command. So sudo del group and the group name. So copy this command from here and paste back over here and hit the enter. You will find it will prompt you to enter the password as a sudo read that and the group will be deleted okay it's done so if you undo the command which showed me the entire group details and now you won't find the hadoop underscore group anymore okay so that's how we remove the group so now we can go for creating a group and this is the command which will create a group and again i'm creating by the same uh, hadoop underscore group Prior before you create a an user, you have to create the group so that you can assign. See the group has been done and this is the group ID that has been provided. So if you go again for the uh, GETNT group details, you will find the group has been created. So let's now create the user and this is what I was saying that before you create a an user, you should create the group so that you can assign the user inside the group directly. So I put my command right over here. And before I hit the enter, I will come back to the right icon again and you will find that still it's going to have just one user. So what I have done over here, let's check it out. I'm saying that I want to create a user by the name called Hadoop underscore Swaroop and this user will be assigned to the group called Hadoop underscore GRP. So this group name I've already created right over here and the username is of your choice. Whatever you feel like, you can keep it over here. This is the name this is the username okay the details of the user will be provided now it will prompt you to enter the password i'm going for the password called hadoop and you are free to choose whatever password you feel like it is asking me to enter the name uh, just for the sake of differentiating between the previous user and the current user i'm writing the name called raj aryan 
and then it will ask me to enter the room number i don't have any room number it will ask me to enter my phone number so i'm going for phone number 89817283365 and then it's asking me to enter others i don't have any other information if you wish to if you are confirmed with this information press yes and the user has been created so if you come down over here you will check that you have got a new user called raj aryan so that's how the thing is going to take place okay so if you want to see who is the user that currently logged in you can type the command users obviously the user which has logged in right now is the user that is swarup okay and if you want to see that what are the uh, group to which the current user belongs to so you can just type the group and you pass over here it will show the current user that is a swarup it belongs to which of the following group and this group called sudo is very important if you want to check which user uh, what are the group to which uh, the new user that is hadoop underscore swarup belongs to you can do that as well as with the ender you have just created you are just a member of the only group that is hadoop underscore group apart from that you don't belong to any other group at all but what i will be doing is that i will involve this particular user inside the sudo group as well you might be wondering why i'm going to do that the reason is i will be using this user having the privilege for installation of other application which i need to install in case of hadoop because i want to create this user as a dedicated user for the hadoop okay so that's the reason the, the user should have a sudo permission apart from that one important point you need to remember is every user when you are creating you need to have one or you need to or you have a one important file called dot bash rc the moment i created this user called hadoop underscore swarup a new file called dot bash rc got created inside inside this particular inside the home directory of this user and this particular file dot bash rc is very important because we have to mention the path variables right over there which will be which will be used by the operating system the moment you log into the user okay in order to see this dot bash rc file what you have to do is that you have to get inside this particular user okay but you won't be able to open the bash rc because you don't have the sort of privilege okay let's do one thing let's get inside this particular user to see where the dot bash rc file is present so for that i will be using the command called su that means switch user and the name of the user is hadoop underscore swarup i'm writing that i hit the enter and it will prompt me to enter the password of this particular user which i have created and the password which i have given is do i provide that password i hit the enter and if you see over here now my command prompt got changed previously it was swarup and now i am inside the new user called hadoop underscore swarup that is true but if you see the uh, the the path where i am inside i am still in inside the path of the of the of the super user swarup so this shouldn't be there so i need to get to the home directory of the newly created user so to get into the home directory of newly created user you have to give the command cd and the tilde sign symbol which you will find just before the numeric key 1 and hit the enter you are now inside the home directory of the user hadoop underscore swarup so if if i fire the command over here called ls i won't be able to see the bash rc file because it's a hidden file so if i go for the command ls hyphen a it will show me the file that is dot bash rc okay that's the command if you want to see the de details of this so you can write ls hyphen la it will show you the long list and at the same time it will show you the what are the privileges the bash rc file has got it has got the read write privilege for the user the read privilege for the group and the read privilege only for the others but if you try to open the bash rc file then you won't be able to do that let's try out so i'm writing sudo i'm writing g edit and then i'm writing the dot bash rc i hit the enter and it will ask me to enter the password so i need the password for the do i hit the enter and you are saying that you don't have the privilege of the sudo that what i was talking about that the moment you create a user you get to create a, it gets to create an automatically a dot bash rc but you won't be having the default privilege to get inside this until and unless the sudo permission has been assigned so how do you get the sudo permission that can be only provided by your super user so again you have to log back to the super user and so you can fire the command su and super user name was swarup i hit the enter i come over here and the password is hadoop i have maintained the same password for all the users so right now i am in the super user but again you are seeing that the command the, the path is the previous hadoop user which i don't want so i'm writing cd tilde symbol i get back to the working directory of the super user now i can fire the command to assign the newly created user into the list of 
super user and for that reason i have the permission right over here that is sudo add user hadoop to the sudo class so just copy this command from here and just paste back right over here hit the command see sudo add user this is the name of the user and this is the name of this is the class called sudo so hit the enter and you are done okay so you have the privilege of the of the sudo class so now if you wish to check that this particular user belongs to which classes so you can do even that now so you copy the group command and you come back over here you pressed it and you narrate the name of the user over here and it will show you that this user belongs to which are the groups see over here you belong to the sudo group right now you can also check this particular command which will show you the group name and the members associated with the current group you press back over here you just scroll up it will show you the check out for the sudo class yeah here it is the sudo class has got the following members so now you are able to access your .bassrc file so you can move back to your uh, command prompt so i write hadoop swaroop i hit the enter i'm inside it will ask me to enter the password i'm right over there change the terminal change the path come to the document to the home directory and now you type if you go for ls hyphen la you still have the bassrc file if you try to open the file now sudo dot bash it will it will sudo you need to mention the application through which you want to edit g edit is the name of the application that i will be using it dot bash rc i hit the enter it will prompt me to enter the password and now i will be able to see the and content of the file so this is the file which i will be using time and again and here i have to mention the path of the application which i will be installing it in the coming video series i will show you the installation of the each and every application for the hadoop requirements so in this particular video i just focused on the bass rc file and there's one more thing which is left behind which i will do it in my next video that is I'm, i will be talking about the ssh secure socket cell i will be talking about this following stuff but I would prefer it in the next video. So just follow this thing, your user and the group details, everything will be confirmed. So that's all from this video. So wait for the next one. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you.